Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about the integrals of powers of trigonometric functions, uh, more specifically the tangent and secant. So if we have an integral that looks like this, how do we solve this integral wherein we have a, a certain tangent raised to a certain power m and uh, multiplied by secant raised to uh, a certain power n x dx. So how do we solve this type of integral? Now, there are three cases. For first, if n is even, is an even number, which means that the exponent of secant is even, we need to split off a factor of second squared x, and then we're going to apply a relevant identity that is equivalent to secant squared x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. Again, this is, again, uh, uh, from the Pythagorean identities. Okay, so we're going to split off a secant squared, and then we are going to express all of the integrand inside the integrand uh, in terms of tangent. Okay? So in other, the other case is if m is odd, which means that the exponent of the tangent is odd, we need to split off a factor both from the tangent as tangent x and for the second x, one second of x. And then we're going to apply such relevant identities wherein we have tangent squared x is equal to second squared x minus 1, okay? We're going to express all inside of the integral in terms of secant, okay? And last, if we have m is even, okay, and n is odd, we must use relevant identities to reduce the integral or the inside function in the integral, okay, for the powers of second x alone. So we must be able to express all inside the integrand, okay, in the powers of second x alone. And then, most probably, we, we can use the relevant identity same as what we have here. So, tangent squared x equals to second squared x minus 1. So, for today's video, we're going to do these three uh, cases, okay? So, for number 1, let us try to evaluate this. The integral of tangent squared 3y seconds raised to 6, 3y dy. As we can see here, okay, what case is this? This is case 1. n is even. Okay? The exponent of secant is even, which is 6. This is our m. This is our n. So according to our procedure, we shall be splitting of a factor of secant squared x. So if we do that, we have tangent squared 3y. We split off 2 secant here. So we have secant raised to 4 of 3y multiplied by secant uh, squared uh, 3y dy here. Okay, we split off this secant squared 3y here. Okay, and we should be able to apply the relevant identities which we have secant squared x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. So, we will not apply that identity here as this will be our du, okay, in our u substitution. So, what will happen here is that we are going to express this secant raised to 4 3y, since this is already tangent, so this secant raised to 4 uh, 3y should be expressed in terms of tangent, okay? Because the derivative of tangent is secant squared 3y dy, and therefore we can a, we will be able to use the u substitution here. So we have copy this tangent squared 3y, okay? And we make the necessary substitution for this secant raised to 4. So what will happen? According to our identity, that is tangent squared x plus 1. So 1 plus tangent squared x or tangent squared x plus 1. I mean, this should be 3y because we have a 3y here. Tangent squared 3y. This is squared. Why? Because this function, 1 plus tangent squared 3y, is equal to the secant squared 3y. And since this is raised to 4, we should have a square here. Okay? So that should be secant squared 3y dy. And viola, we can use the u substitution here, wherein we must let u equal to tangent of 3y, okay? Because the derivative of tangent is actually 3, tangent 3y is 3 secant squared 3y, okay? dy, of which secant squared 3y dy is over here. But we have to have a correction factor of 3 here, so we multiply this by 3. And of course, multiplying outside of the integral by its reciprocal. 
Okay? So we already have the correction factor. So we have one third. Okay? Integral now of tangent three ways raised uh, u is equals to u squared. Of course, this is raised to two. So we have a one plus a u squared. This is u squared. Okay? And raised to two. And this is our du. Okay? This full term. So what will happen? It's very easy now to integrate. So we have one third. Uh, let's um, expand this. So this that would be 1 plus 2u squared plus u raised to 4 du. That's the expansion of 1 plus u squared. Uh, squared. Okay. Integral of distribute this. We have u squared plus 2u raised to 4 plus u raised to 6. And we have du here. So lastly, we have to integrate this using the power rule. So that's 1 third. 1 third u raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 5, uh, 2 over 5 u raised to 5 plus uh, 1 over 7 u raised to 7 okay, plus c. And then we distribute the 1 third, so that's 1 over 9 u raised to 3 plus 2 over uh, 15 u raised to 5 plus 1 over 21 u raised to 7 plus c. Okay, so what will happen? Siyempre. Oops, I'm so sorry. Of course, of course, we need to substitute it back, the u, back to its original uh, function. So, we're in u is equal to tangent of 3y. So, we have 1, 9, 1 over 9, tangent raised to 3, because that's raised to 3, of 3y, three plus a 2 over 15, tangent raised to 5 of 3y, plus 1 over 21 tangent raised to 7 of 3y plus c. So this should be our final answer for evaluating this integral. So this is case 1 where in our n, value of n is even. Okay, so for our next problem, let's try to solve this one. The integral of tangent uh, cube 6x, okay? Multiplied by secant raised to 10, 6x. So this is the second case, okay, wherein our m is odd, okay, the, the, the power of tangent is an odd number, which is uh, cubed. So what are we going to do? We are to split up a factor of secant, both secant x and tangent x. So what will happen if we split it off? So we have tangent squared 6x. So we have secant uh, raised to 9, 6x. We both split them off. So we have now, let's say I write secant first, secant of uh, 6x. Oops. Secant of 6x and then multiplied by tangent of 6x. And then we have dx. We have split 1 from tangent and 1 from secant. So that became 2 and this becomes, it became 9. So we have here split this second x and tangent x dx. So, again, what are we going to do? We must have the relevant identities wherein we have to substitute tangent squared of x into second squared x minus 1. So, we have to transform, or to transform, of course, all of this, okay, this two or this tangent in terms of secant by applying this formula, okay? So, tangent squared x, go to second squared x minus 1. So, we have, okay, this should become second squared 6x minus 1. And that is the identity. Secant raised to 9, 6x, multiplied by secant 6x, tangent of 6x. And we have dx. Why did we do that? Because if we let, okay, if we are going to let, Okay, u is equal to secant of 6x. Okay, the derivative of that would be 6 secant uh, 6x, of course, tangent 6x. Of which secant 6x tangent 6x dx is present within the integrand. So we have to add a value or multiply a correction factor of 6. So outside of the integral, we have 1 over 6, the reciprocal of 6. So, what are we going to do is, again, simple u substitution, wherein we have 
the u squared, secant squared 6x would be u squared because u is secant 6x. And it is raised to 2. So we have u squared minus 1 multiplied by u raised to 9. Of course, this is raised to 9. And we have du. So 1 over 6, integral of, I can distribute this. This should be u raised to 11 minus u raised to 9. And we have du in here. Okay. So if we are going to, of course, sorry. If we are going to solve it, okay. 1 over 6 by power formula, we know that that is equivalent to u raised to 12 over 12 minus u raised to 10 over 10, okay, plus c. And we have, okay, 6 times 12 is 72. So, 1 over 72, u raised to 12 minus 1 over 60, u raised to 10 plus c. Don't forget to back substitute it. So, we have... 1 over 72, our u is equal to secant raised to 12 of 6x minus 1 over 60, secant raised to 10 of 6x, okay, plus c. So, this should be our final answer for this given problem. So, we have the case number 2. Okay, let's go now to last problem wherein we have integral of tangent squared x, second x, and dx. So, this is the case of a third case wherein m is even. We have a tangent squared x and n is odd, which is 1. So, what are we going to do is we are going to express all of this in terms of uh, secant, powers of secant. So, what are we going to do here is we can simply substitute tangent squared x into what? By second squared x minus 1. So we have second squared x, second squared x minus 1 multiplied by secant of x and dx. So what will happen? We can distribute secant. So we have secant cubed x minus secant of x and this is in terms of dx. And by properties of integral, we can separate these two by distributing the integral sign and the dx sign on each term. So we have integral of secant q x dx minus the integral of secant of x dx. Okay? So, let us take note that what we are integrating on the left side is equal to this integral. Okay? This is, uh, this is what we are trying to solve is equal to this. Okay? So, uh, the first integral, this can be easily solved by uh, the integral of secant of x is ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x. How about this? So, we can actually uh, have a u substitution on this wherein we can actually separate these two. Second or secant squared x multiplied by secant of x dx minus the integral of secant of x dx. So, we can use integration by parts. Okay? In order for us to solve this, let u is equal to secant of x. Uh, then, the derivative of uh, secant of x with respect to x is secant of x tangent of x dx. And of course, the remaining dv is the secant squared x. So, secant squared x dx, integrate this. This should be the integral of secant squared x is simply tangent of x. So, if we are going to use again the formula uv minus the integral of v du, this is for integration by parts. So, what will happen? We have the uv, we have secant x multiplied by tangent of x. Let me just rewrite this here. So, we have secant of x tangent of x. That is actually u times v, u times v, minus the integral of v du, v du is v, we have tangent of x, we have that v, our du is second x tangent of x, second of x tangent of x, don't forget the dx. And of course, minus the integral of second of x dx, don't forget that. So this is uv minus v du, this is only what we are trying to integrate, but we also have integral of second of x dx. So that would be the integral of second of x dx is ln absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x 
okay, plus C. Okay, and as you can see here, what we are trying to integrate is what? This one. So we have the integral of tangent squared x a secant x a dx. And that is equivalent to this. Okay? We have secant of x tangent of x minus, as you can see, if we are going to, to simplify this tangent of x times secant of x times tangent of x, that is tangent of squared x secant of x dx minus ln of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. As you can see, we go back to the original integral. What we are trying to integrate is this. But on our solution, this tangent squared x secant x dx appeared again. And if I'm going to transpose this onto the left side, we'll be having integral of tangent squared x secant x dx plus the integral of tangent squared x second x dx. So, these two, okay, these two would add up, okay, just like we are adding variables. So, let's transpose this. I'm going to transpose this. Transpose this term on the left side. Transpose this term. So, what will happen? I'll be having plus integral of tangent squared x second x dx is now equal to second x tangent of x minus, we have the ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. Okay? Of course, let me just rewrite this on, this would add up. Okay? This is totally the same. So that should be n to 2 integral of tangent of squared second, uh, tangent of squared x second x dx is equal now to second secant of x tangent of x minus ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. So, we, we are solving for this integral. So, if I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2, the 2 here will cancel and we have tangent squared of x second of x dx of which this is what we are trying to find. So, I isolated two. So, we will be having one half second of x tangent of x minus one half ln of the absolute value of second of x plus tangent of x plus c. And this is our answer for getting actually the integral for this problem. One half second of x tangent of x minus one half ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c, okay? So, that's a technique, okay? And I hope you learned something for today's video. Uh, and I'm going to give you some exercises, okay, for you to solve this uh, one problem only. I'm going to give you one problem just to make sure you understand. Can you solve second, second raised to 5 x tangent of cube x dx? And the answer is actually... 1 over 7, okay? Secant raised to 7x minus 1 over 5, secant raised to 5x uh, plus c. Okay? So, please answer this if you have time to check your understanding if you have understood what we have uh, tackled for today's video. So, again, this is Injir Abad. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for viewing my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and please click the um, bell button okay for 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 every notification if i'm going to upload something so thank you so much for listening god bless us all